Hi friends, I'm here today to show you how to make a plate. Um, this is my wheel. This is called a bat. It goes on top of the wheel head. I've got about one and three quarters pound of clay and I'm going to show you how to get it centered and make a plate and later I'll show you how to trim it. So let's go. Hold your ears. Sorry. First step is getting it centered. Gonna get it wet. And I have the most important part of centering is having your elbows anchored on your knees or on the splash pan. If you're not anchored, things will not work out. That's all I can say. I'm pressing down with the side of my hand on top. I'm pressing with the heel of my left hand on the kind of the front side. Pressing down on both at the same time. until the clay kind of glides by my hand without any lumps going by. Just trimming off some excess clay on top of the bat, making sure it's centered, and then I'm going to take the heel of my right hand and press down on the top of the clay. And I have my other hand um, grasping it. I've got my elbows anchored. Um, this arm is up in the air off of my anchoring knee, but I've got my other hand to brace it. Just pushing down. I'm going to take my fingers and push down on the middle and pull it towards me to pull some of that clay out. Then I'm going to take my fingers and pull out the sides. got my other hand anchored so it can keep that hand braced. I'm going to keep it moist enough so I don't rip it. Then I take a damp sponge and push down on the middle. This is called compressing. It pulls the clay towards me and prevents cracking later when it's drying. Then I take my two middle fingers, one underneath, one on top, and gently press them against each other and move towards the outer part of this plate. My goal is to get a 10-inch um, plate wet. It'll shrink down to about 9 inches dry. And as I get closer to the edge where it's thinner, I'm slowing down the foot pedal on the wheel and putting less pressure. Where it's more wet and more thin, it's more liable to rip. Now I'm taking my rubber rib and pressing down on the middle to compress it again. Some people use different tools to compress. This is just what's working for me on this particular piece. This clay's a little bit dry, so I'm going to um, put a small sponge underneath and on top to moisten it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my two middle fingers and slowly move my way out. can feel it getting a little bit dry, so I'm going to slow down and not press as hard. Okay, I'm going to measure. 
measure it with my high-tech ruler that I think belonged to my daughter when she was in third grade. And I'm where I'm at. I'm at where I want to be with the diameter, and I like the height too. Just trying to do one and a half inches high on all these. I'm doing about 300 or so, and I need them all to be the same. Now I'm using my damp sponge to smooth out those lines that I made earlier. And I'm going to use a pen tool to trim off the outer edge so it is nice and even. My arms are anchored. And I'm going to use the sponge again to smooth out that outer edge. Keeping my finger wet underneath to support it. Just being very gentle. water droplets off. I'm going to wipe off my back and I'm going to take my pen tool to go at the base of the back and make a line around the plate so it's easier to cut off later. Got one little lump I want to smooth out. dry and I'll show you how to trim it in just a little bit.